Is that inches or centimeters? That's an inches. Okay. That's about. Two. Let me try to smack it. No. Let me try no, 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 no. Yeah. from outer space. Okay. As I was grinding it, it felt like it was hitting soft pockets of something and just blowing, blasting right through it. Careful, it might be hot. No, I didn't make it through, so. Um, I think what I want to do now is figure out a way to hold it. Did I just snap? That is crazy. If that was just up in the atmosphere, up in the outer space, look at the uh, crystalline structure right there. It's like purple. Mm -hmm. And he's got these cavities right here, these little pockets. Maybe somebody can let us know what that is. If he could, let us know. Inside these pockets was all this dust right here. When I cut through it, it... Uh, Do you think it's out. okay that we breathe it in? Well, it's a little late for that now. I do feel kind of right, so we got this super strong uh, rare earth magnet right here, neodymium magnet. We're gonna test it on that, and it does not stick to the magnet at all. Like, do you feel any resistance, any pull, or anything? Nothing at all. Nothing. Wow. And this is a strong magnet. Look to that pull. So this is where the dust came out, and uh, as you can see, it's kind of looks like rust, but I'm not really sure. But I know whenever, as soon as I started cutting into it, I can't remember if I said this already, but as soon as I started cutting into it, it smelled like gunpowder. Like it smelled like burning gunpowder, but it wasn't catching on fire or anything. Uh, sulfur or iron or what it is that's in it. So any ideas on that, please let me know.